freaking phone calls. Ah! Um. Ugh. I guess I need to stop using my phone or whatever, because my phone will stop recording if a phone call comes in, which, I mean, I guess that's smart. I don't want to, like, have a video of this. You know, that's not attractive, even though I just did that. But, I mean, like, that's not what I want to do. Um, so, anyways, um, I just, I didn't want to end the video that way, because I was about to wrap it up. But, um, I just didn't want to leave my video with a cut off at the end and, um, and leaving you all like, whoa. So, um, anyways, I want to thank everybody for, um, especially new subscribers to my channel who have been very nice in the comments saying that they love my content. I, that's been very uplifting and, I, and I, a big thank you to everybody who has been supporting me from the beginning, um, which the beginning was like, what, two weeks ago? Um, but you know, whatever it's two weeks is two weeks. Um, you know, and like, I feel like, I mean, no, it's still, um, oh, I haven't done this yet. London, uh, the fan's on too high. Let me try to get it closer. London fog. We're here. D1077 with London Fog and the Drucifer. Oh, Luna's looking at me like I'm crazy. I know she can't see me, but her eyes had been closed, and then they did that, and now she's... I don't know what I call it. Perturbed. <laughs> like, how dare you wake me up with your idiot. Idiocracy. That's why I call my channel Drucifer's Idiocracy. I'm pretty stupid, and I do lots of stupid things. But apparently you all love it and eat it up, so, you know, it's just going to keep coming. Um, you know, I can't always control it. Some of it is the fact that I do have a mental illness and my brain just goes all over the place, and I say what comes to mind. So um, I'm glad you guys follow me on my journeys through every video where I'm probably not making sense. Um we're like talking in circles or I start talking about one thing and then get distracted and start talking about a completely other thing and never come back to it. I've tried to be better about that, but you know, I'm still me and it's not always easy to um, recollect what I was talking about after a butterfly goes by, you know, ooh, shiny. Well, a butterfly isn't shiny, but you got what I mean, like shiny object. Ah! And I'm like, okay. Now we're on to talking about the goats that live in the pasture behind my house, which I, I really want the animals to be out there sometime when, when I'm making a video because the goats will climb the trees. And then when the horses are there, they usually all travel like in a little pack. Not always the horses, but the donkeys. And they have two donkeys and four goats, two large ones, two small ones. And um, it's just always really cute when they're out there and they're climbing the trees to get at the leaves. Um, I, I've been afraid that we'd end up with a goat in our backyard one of these times just because they climb so high. I've never seen a goat climb a tree. And, um, they, I mean, it's like little low trees that like the, like the branches come out down low so they can get up. It's not like a regular tree, um, with the branches up high. Um, but it's always fun to see when my parents first told me that the goats would climb the trees, I did not believe them until I actually saw it happen. Those goats freaking climb trees. So um, I will be hyper vigilant and watching for them. And I'll hopefully get to make a video with them climbing the trees in the back. So um, anyways, that's all I have for today. Um, I'm sorry it got cut off in the middle because Walgreens had to let me know that my prescriptions that I already scheduled for auto refill were going to be filled. And they wanted to make sure that I knew all of the ins and outs of that service. I'm like, I've been using it for freaking months. You don't need to tell me now or ask me now if I, if I need to know the ins and outs. It's it gets put in the auto refill so I don't have to call it in. Then I come and pick it up. I mean, that's paint, you know, crystal clear. So um, I know there probably are people who might need the assistance 
uh, like the elderly or the really dumb, and I am neither. So, um, you know, I think that'd be like a thing, like, I would call in and be like, I need help. I don't know how to do this. But like, I literally just talked to them yesterday and got my old medications taken out and my new medications put in. So I, whatever. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna get mad about it. I'm not, I'm not mad, you guys. Stop saying I'm mad. Um, I am pretty mad though. Not about that. I mean like mad in the head. <laughs> <sighs> London Fog! Um, oh, that's something. That's something. I'm going to share this today. My vape shop is closed to help keep the COVID-19 curve down. But I was just like, that was a really inopportune time. Today was the first day that they were closed, and I needed juice today because I ran out yesterday. So I had to go to a different shop that I'm not familiar with, and the people were freaking a-holes. Um, they seemed like irritated from the moment I walked in the door and said that I needed juice. He was just like, oh. It's like, people come into a vape shop because they need freaking juice. Like, what are you like so exasperated about? And then um, I saw that they had the, the brand that I use. It's called Naked. Um, naked. Ooh. Um, but when I like went to ask him about flavors and strengths that he had, he was just like, and I was like, we almost have just everything in the three. There's a couple in the six. And I was like, okay, do you have this flavor? And he was like, no. I was like, do you have this flavor? No. I was like, come on. You're a freaking vape shop. You think you'd have more than just like six of the flavors out of the bajillion that they have. Uh, and they're in stock. And there were a lot there. But I like the ice flavors, which are um, kind of menthol-y. And um, that's that's really what I prefer. So um, they, didn't, they, they only had two of those in the ice. And they're the two that I absolutely hate. So I elected to get one that... They, well, there is a, a nice version of it, but they didn't have it there. And it's called, like, Mango... Mango something. Let me see. Amazing Mango. And it's supposed to be mango, peach, and cream. I've never had one that was, like, a creamy one but from Naked before. And it is okay. I think I would like it better if, it was, if I had the ice, though. It's very sweet, and I don't I don't like super sweet, which with the cream in there I knew I should have seen this coming. I like I like ones that are like even keeled, but yeah this this is just so so sweet, and he nicely did let me know that they could bump it up to a six, with, like with a, a, no charge. Like they had the nicotine there, they could just add to it. So he squeezed some stuff in and shook the hell out of it. And um, so it's a six, which I, I wanted to go down from a 12 to a six. So now I'm happy that I did that. Um, I need to quit nicotine altogether, but they say it's not smart to quit um, a substance like drugs or alcohol and try to quit smoking at the same time. It's just no bueno. So I... Um, I'm going to give myself up to a year. So I, I did a 12 from beginning of January all the way up until today, halfway through March. So going to a six for the next four months or so will be, will be fine. And it'd be nice to have quit by the time it's my one year anniversary, um, for well, my birthday, they call it birthdays. It's not an anniversary, but my one year birthday, um, and, and being sober, which is November the 19th. So I have a ways to go. Um, and that's plenty of time to have gotten myself down from the nicotine levels that I'm at and, um, get me completely free of vapor or not free of nicotine. Um, I still plan on probably using the zero, um, um, juice, zero nicotine 
juice, because uh, I like vaping. It's very calming. I do like the flavor. Um, but yeah, it's just very, oh, like, you know. Anyways, I had a friend, though, one time that he was vaping without nicotine in it, and I thought he was absolutely bat crap crazy. And I was like, why would you not use nicotine? I was drunk at the time. Um, and also, he was someone who's kind of a uh, butt hat. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying really hard to not cuss, and so I have to come up with interesting ways to say it. And I guess butt hat wasn't the best way. It could have been like, booty hat. I like booty hat. Yeah, he was a booty hat. Um, and um, so I found it very... Um, annoying. <laughs> so, anyways, enough about vaping and someone from my past who um, kind of did me wrong eventually, but oh well, whatever. I'm not mad. I'm not mad. Stop saying I'm mad, you guys. <sighs> um, but I think this is where I'm going to finally end the video. I need to go and eat my dinner. Um, I walked in the house and my mom was like, dinner, and I was like, no. YouTube videos. Well, video. I only planned on there being one, but now there's two because, ugh. I, I'm not, see, I, I just talk in circles sometimes. I can't help it. But anyways, I will end it here so I can go eat. Um, my mom has something that I think was leftover corned beef and cabbage with potatoes and carrots all cooked in a skillet. So she usually does that with pot roast too, and it is so good. So good. But anyways, um, thank you for watching. Uh, please like, subscribe, and share uh, any of my videos. You can do this one too, or the first one, or both, or all of them, or I don't care. Just like and subscribe if you can. Um, I like to um, have all of you here with me. So if I can, if I can get more um, to, to tune in, that would be really fun. Um, especially because I know that it means that people like my crazy and they're not turned off by it, which a surprisingly small number of people don't like it. Um, you would think there would be more people who'd be like, you're too much. And I'd be like, what? Um, but, um, you know, people find it endearing and funny and they can tell whenever I'm tired because I'm not like this. They're like... Drew, are you tired? Because, like, you're not your usual... <laughs> I was like... Or, I think that's what, what, what Steven did the other day. He's like, you're not your usual... And I was like, yeah, I'm a little tired. Um, when I was in treatment, they called it Sleepy Drew. Uh, when my eyes would get to be about like this. And they'd be like, Sleepy Drew is here. He can't keep his eyes open. And, um, yeah... I think tomorrow I'm going to make a video about my times in rehab. Uh, I'm trying to do more sobriety specific videos for those who follow me for their own sobriety or, you know, for you to share with someone who has been in sobriety who maybe hasn't gone to rehab yet um, about what it's, what it, what's, what it's been like for me, probably between, I'll say between the first one, I'll do the first one and the sec and the third one. Because the second one was at the same place as the first time. And it wasn't the same for me. Um, and I really don't remember a lot of it. I guess I tuned it all out. <laughs> um, but I'm going to say I don't remember a lot of it. Because I've done a lot of drinking and drugging since then. Um, but this last time at Landmark and the first time at Harris House were both really special. And I was really happy because I made a lot of friends at both. Um, and a lot, some of the friends from my first one I'm still friends with and, and such. So um, not everybody has stayed sober, but um, a lot of people have been very supportive in me trying to get clean again. Um, so I will share that tomorrow. So be on the lookout for that. And uh, for now, uh, I will say again, like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.